everybody, welcome back to VGC Series 2, where today I want to rant a little bit um, about Iron Bundle. And you know, honestly, you might not be having the same issues with Iron Bundle that I'm having, and that's fair, that's okay. But there are a couple of really unique things about Iron Bundle that make it a problem. And that's what I want to talk about today, is why Iron Bundle might be a problem. Um, I know, I think it's been more of an issue for singles players, but I've had some of those issues. I've talked to my friend who plays singles, and he has reiterated some of these things that I've been thinking. So, let's talk about Iron Bundle. Um, as always, guys, if you like the video, leave me a big fat like, leave me a comment, let me know what you want to see in the next video. Um, if you want me to rant about a specific Pokemon, you know, let me know. I'll rant about anything. Whatever y'all want to see, right? Um, anyway, so let's look at Iron Bundle really quick here. Um, I realized the other day that there is not a single... First of all, there's no type that resists both Freeze Dry and Hydro Pump. Um, now you might be thinking, what do you mean? Water types resist for Ice type moves? No, Freeze Dry, Freeze Dry hits Ice, hits Water type Pokemon for super effective. So because Iron Bundle has Freeze Dry, there is not a single type in the game that can resist both of its stabs. But not only is there no single type that resists both Freeze Dry and Hydro Pump, there is no type combination that resists both freeze dry and hydro pump. That's a little that's that's a little ridiculous. I can't think of a, a a recent Pokemon off the top of my head where there is not a single type combination that resists both of its stab moves that is this offensive. Like obviously, you know, Pokemon like Lapras um, have similar stab combinations, but Lapras has like 70 base special attack. Lapras is not that offensive a Pokemon. Uh, it might actually be 85. I don't know what it is off the top of my head. Let's look. Let's see if it'll let me look. So that I don't look stupid. It's 85. It has 85 special attack. Iron Bundle has 124. <clears throat> That's a big difference. That's a huge difference. Okay. Um, so that, 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 this is, this is what wanted me to make this vid. This is what set me on the path of making this video. Iron Bundle hit basic, basically nothing resists Iron Bundle. It has the ability to hit every single Pokemon in the game and every single Pokemon that will ever exist for at least neutral damage with, like, a weird exception. And here's the weird exception, right? What people have been doing to beat Iron Bundle, and, you know, I mean, I, obviously it works on, like, Grass-type, people with Grass-type uh, coverage, too. What people have been using to beat Iron Bundle is legitimately Terrifier Gastrodon. That's it. I mean, obviously you could run like, I don't know, like Terrifier, Vaporeon, Terrifier, uh, what is the, Claude Sire or something weird with Water Absorb, right? But your answer for Iron Bundle is Terrifier Gastrodon. And especially in singles where every, where, you know, every third Pokemon has Earthquake, that just doesn't work. Gastrodon goes down pretty easily to a lot of other things as if you run this Terrifier typing that like, it just doesn't work to like super counter Iron Bundle. So that's where I'm at with this. Like <laughs> this Pokemon is so funky. This Pokemon hits everything for at least neutral damage so easily that people are running Terrifier Gastronon. If you have to use your Terrestrialization on something else, you go down to one freeze dry because it is four times effective on our water ground Gastronon. Everything that would resist uh, or at least like take neutral damage from Iron Bundle stab moves takes like four times damage from freeze dry because it has part, it's part water typing It's pretty silly. The other thing about Iron Bundle if you run the booster energy set Which is not the popular set or like the good set But if you run a booster energy set you hit um, like 303 uh, Is that math? Yes You hit 303 speed Basically, Iron Bundle becomes Regilecki because you have the speed control very similar to Regilecki. You could run, I think, a supportive moveset. I think you could go pretty far. Running, like, some really funky, like, Encore uh, Chilling Water set on your Iron Bundle. So just keep that in mind. I think that's something to keep in mind. I think, I think maybe you could, like, figure out some sort of, like, critical hit set with Air Cutter. I think that would be really funny. That maybe that's something that I try in the future, but Terra Flying Iron Bundle with Crit air cutter like guaranteed because it hits both pokemon sounds really really funny um i don't know but this pokemon is so fast this pokemon hits so hard 
Nothing resists both of its like main stab moves. It's it's a little it's a little crazy. Like obviously it's a little frail. Um, really only on the specially defensive side. So on specially defensive side, it's really easy to knock it out. But people are running Focus Sash, so that doesn't really matter. And on the defensive side, it's actually surprisingly bulky. I've seen Iron Bundle take like, um, like really weird attacks. Like like it can take like a Drain Punch from Iron Hands, I think. If you, I mean, without like really EVing for it because the defense stat is so high, which is pretty funky, honestly. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I just, yeah, just wanted to random iron bundle. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is if we go to like, if we change this to, to national decks for a second, we've never had a Pokemon this offensive that learns freeze dry. Like if we, if we add a Pokemon here and search for freeze dry, um, we can see, and we sort by special attack. We can see that, yeah, Glaceon. Glaceon has less special attack than Iron Bundle. Um, Kyurem doesn't count. Mega Glalie doesn't count. And that's it. Everything drops off really fast from there. Everything gets under 100 super fast. Like, I guess Vanellux, but who's using Vanellux? Vanellux, we, we've never had a Pokemon this good that wants to run Freeze Dry that can run Freeze Dry. If it, does that make sense? So, I mean, obviously up until now, freeze dry has not been a problem. It's actually been really nice for ice types to be able to hit water types because normally they really struggle. Um, but I feel like giving freeze dry to a Pokemon that's this offensive and this fast might have been a mistake. Um, I don't I don't think like, I, I mean, maybe history won't be on my side with this. But when we get like Chiyu, um, nothing, nothing is living this. Nothing is living this Hydro Pump when we have Chiyu. Um, and if they live the Hydro Pump, they probably don't live the Freeze Dry. <laughs> like, uh, so you can say the same thing for Fluttermane, but, uh, when we, when we, if you don't know what Chiyu does, so let's pull it up here for you. Chiyu. Nope. Come on. Where are we? Chiyu has actually been banned from that decks, which is really funny. Um, Chiyu's ability says that all other Pokemon on the field have their special defense, uh, resisted by 25%, which is really, really neat. Literally, um, everything doesn't take attacks as well, which is super ridiculous. Especially when you have, I mean, you can run Icy Wind, obviously. You can run Blizzard. Blizzard spam Iron Bundle can be a thing in the future. If you run it next to a, um, like an Obama Snow, you can have the Iron Bundle set Aurora Veil. That'll be pretty, like, consistent way to get your Aurora Veil up. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud, you know. Sometimes, sometimes I just need to turn on the camera and rant to you guys. What do you guys think about Iron Bundle? Do you think that it could be a problem? Do you think it's a problem now? Are you... Because I was building my team through Orlando Regional, which I'm not going to give you my whole team, but a consistent problem was that if my opponent led, like, Iron Bundle plus Amoongus, I, for a while, I just couldn't do anything about it. I, I would just have to hit the Amoongus, especially if the Amoongus terastalized the, like, water type. Um... I would have to just like hit the Amoongus while Iron Bundle swept my whole team because no Pokemon resists Iron Bundle. <laughs> um, and I couldn't run a Gastrodon for other reasons. Um, I'll, I'll, I have a Palafin on my team. I can't run Gastrodon if I'm running Palafin. It just doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to like have a short little rant about Iron Bundle. I think it could be an issue. Um, I haven't looked at, like, tournament results. I can't figure out how to pull them up for all of the, like, tours people have been doing. If you know how to do that, let me know. I probably look kind of silly because I've definitely seen it in other people's videos and I don't know how to find it. Um, <laughs> uh, it is winning tournaments with Sash. Sash Iron Bundle is winning tournaments. It is very consistent. It has speed control. It's, it's okay. So it's essentially the fastest Pokemon in the format. It's not faster than Dragapult. But Dragapult's not good, and also it gets hit for weakness by Iron Bundle. But it, it might as well be the fastest relevant Pokemon in the format. It has Icy Wind for speed control. Nothing resists its stab moves. You can, I mean, you can run, like, like Flip Turn or U-Turn if you want to be, like, really, really difficult to hit. Um, it gets Present. That's funny. It gets Chilling Water, so you could run, like, the Support Set. It gets Encore. It gets Helping Hand. I, I just... I think... I think history is going to show, like, as time goes on, people are going to understand more and more how to use this Pokemon. It's going to get better and better. Kind of like Regieleki. At the beginning of, like, when Regieleki came out, it was a good Pokemon, but it wasn't, like, that that overbearing. And it kind of, like, slowly over time became 
Well, if you don't have something that outspeeds Regilecki and knocks it out or is immune to Regilecki, you just kind of lose. And you can't do that for Iron Bundle. You, you can, I mean, if they run booster energy, you can't really out outspeed Iron Bundle without Tailwind. And that's a lot harder in something where we don't have Dynamax. And nothing is immune to Iron Bundle. Nothing resists Iron Bundle. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like Ice Water type Regilecki. It's like Regilecki with good type coverage <laughs> sometimes. I just, I don't know. I just wanted to rant about this today. If you agree with me, let me know. If you disagree with me, let me know. Tell me what you think. Um, go ahead and, like I said, leave the likes and the comments and the subscribes. And um, with that, everybody, my name is Andrew. I'll see y'all at the Orlando Regional. I'll catch you guys next time.